Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release video. We've got a retail review for you of the brand new 2023 Top Stadium Club. These are the blaster boxes that will be coming out soon. I haven't found them on the shelves at my local Walmart yet, but I got a case of these in today. So I figured we'll go ahead and check them out and see what it's all about. And we have 11 boxes that we're going to do in this video. So... We'll have a good idea if this is something that you might want to pick up. Sometimes there's some versions of retail that are great. Just look at like Tops Update was great with all the parallels. I thought the bubble was great. But we'll take a look at this and see. It says there's 90 base cards that have chrome variations, which are rare. Also, you can assemble some special insert sets, which you see there. The Beam Team cards are case hits. Those are pretty rare. And the... Blaster exclusives. I don't know if they're promoted on here, but they're sepia cards. Let's see if it even says that. I, there it is. One in every eight packs, you'll get a sepia card. The purple number to 75, blue foils to 50. And uh, first day, pretty tough. There's uh, Those are 10 or less. So there's a grand total of 40 cards per box. There's seven packs plus one extra pack. I never understand why they don't just say eight packs. It'd be a lot easier for everybody, but eight packs plus five cards per pack. That's 40 total cards. The price point on these, I believe, is going to be $25 per box. So let's go ahead and see what we have in these boxes. Thank you very much for joining us. We're going to have, looks like a double upload day for you today. The face-off Friday that I was planning on going is going to actually be moved back to next Friday because we're doing a nice stadium club face-off Friday. We got 2020 versus 2021 versus 2022 versus 2023. And uh, two of those boxes are unsold, so we'll give that a little more time. Just put that for sale a couple hours ago, and nobody bit on the 2021 or 2022 boxes. But anyway, that'll be coming next week. Otherwise, maybe three videos in one night would be a little too much again. We just did three videos last night. So here we go. Travis, you'll get a... Master photo card. I used to love these. Back in the day, you used to get one of these in your hobby boxes of like 1993 Stadium Club. Travis has two boxes. So these are the packs. You'll see there's just five cards. So you'll definitely know if you buy like a repack product and there's a five card pack, you know, oh man, that's that's a retail pack or whatever. All right, let's see what we can find. We've been opening a lot of Stadium Club the last three days. So since we're opening 11 boxes, we do have a lot to open. We will do... What I call a super rip and do all of these all at once, all eight packs all at the same time. And we'll get an idea if these are worth it or not. If they're just all base cards in every box, this is something that you might want to just pass on. Maybe save your money for 2024 tops series one, which comes out in just 20 days. But if we're pulling some autographs every few boxes, it might be worth it. So here we go. We have a virtuoso of velocity, Aaron Judge. Which isn't too bad. There's Sterling Marte in there. So, so far, all base cards. The red foils, again, those are one in every three packs. They are pretty common. The black foils are one in every eight. We're looking for a CP card. We do have a numbered card here to get us going for Travis. We'll take it. It's a Yogi Berra number to 199 orange. I'm kind of curious what the autographs are going to be like. They don't put the odds on the boxes anymore. you got to go look for them. Do a little deep dive on the internet. And uh, we'll see if we can... I'm hoping we can find two. If we can find two, I think that would be worth it. There's David Ortiz. We pulled that card autographed already. There's a Reese Hoskins. Wander Franco's in there. And Bryce Harper Red. So, for the most part, nothing too crazy. There's the sepia. You'll get one of those per box. It, they are not numbered. They are retail exclusive. So, if you love sepia cards, this might be... Right up your alley. If you don't like them, then you probably would just buy a hobby box. So there's three different versions of this. You've got the hobby boxes, you've got the compact boxes, and you've got retail. For me, after that first box, I would probably rank the hobby number one. Compact two, this three, but we'll see. We still have ten boxes to go. Here's the next one. We've got a J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez Master Photo Card in Travis's second box here on this Friday night. No live stream tonight. We'll be back live tomorrow. We've got the special Patreon-only Saturday showdown. So if you'd like to support the channel and buy and do some breaks, we sell all of our spots on Patreon, all of our team breaks. We also have a special weekly live stream on Saturday nights over on Patreon that you can only see if you're a Patreon member. So check it out if you'd like to join. There's a link in the description or you can just Google join Jab's Family Patreon. 
All right, here we go. Next box. We've got a Luis Robert Virtuoso of Velocity, Garrett Cole, Red Foil. I don't even know if those deserve being called out because they're so common. Garrett Cole, Black Foil. There's about one per box, one in every eight packs. Again, not numbered. Chief Fantasy card. Here's something upside down. It is going to be one of those rare Chrome cards that they talked about on the side of the box. Usually... You may find maybe one of those per box. They're even more rare than the numbered cards, I feel like now. And we have our CP card there. It's going to be Joey Manessis. And two boxes in, still nothing too crazy. So that was $50 worth of cards. Did we get $50 of value back there? I don't think so. All right, so that's only two boxes. Our next participant is Michael Gunter. So let's see what we can find for Michael in this next one. Good luck to you. 40 cards per box. So this is a, a good, I guess it's a good box if you just want to get your hands on some stadium club and you don't want to pay $150 for a hobby box. You just want to maybe get a little bit of uh, a taste of stadium club. There's a Gunnar Henderson master photo, which is kind of cool and nostalgic from back in the day. I feel like, do they do those master photos every year with stadium club? I definitely remember pulling those out of blaster boxes that we've done before. Interesting. They really like that 93 Stadium Club Master photo design, I guess. Bringing it back year after year. All right, Michael, let's see what we can find in your two boxes. Still nothing really of note yet. One numbered card. No autographs. No valuable parallels. All right, here we go with this next one. We'll see what we have for Michael Gunther. And um, it looks seems like the third card in every box is a Virtuoso a Velocity card. Here's another one. Mike Trout. It's a nice set. I guess it would be easy to put together that set if you're buying a lot of blaster boxes since you're getting like one or two per box. Ezekiel Tovar, Black Fugle right there. Trey Turner, Chief Fantasy Card. We got Mike Trout. Nice. A Mike Trout Chrome Refractor. That's a good pull right there. So, Michael, congratulations on that one. Definitely we'll take that one and get that one sleeved up. Do all of our sleeving afterwards to keep the movie, or not the movie, keep the show moving right along. There's Dontrell Willis, Dontrell Willis Sepia. Hey, we've got a visitor, it's, looks like. There's Adley Rushman. You're just in time to bring us some luck. We haven't found anything yet. Really? Yeah, three boxes, zero autographs. There's do all of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love boxes. Mm -hmm. so, this is Sophia, mm -hmm. my girlfriend, and got done with her shower now ready to watch a movie tonight huh had a great dinner again stuffed shells i've never had stuffed shells like you made them yeah. made them stuffed with meat instead of cheese and i don't like the cheese it was i i was like i didn't know what to expect but it was amazing the mm -hmm. seasoning that you do <laughs> yeah. we have another visitor man everyone's just coming down <laughs> here's my daughter olivia as well See if you can bring us some good luck too. The other day we were opening a box and we weren't really having any luck. Then Sophia came downstairs and we pulled a Hall of Fame autograph. So maybe you, the both of you together can get us some, something here from Michael Gunther. What? This is number box or you want This is box number four out of 11. Oh, this is the lucky one then. You think? Because it's your number? Yeah. Well, that's Olivia's lucky number. All right, let's see what we can find in this next one. These boxes are only $25 a piece, though, so it's kind of tough to find anything of real value in these. There's Vaughn Grissom, Chrome card. We're playing basketball today, and I lost. I'll just say that. Tough loss. Yeah, really tough loss, although I was completely cheated the entire time. No. I, too. I was you playing basketball with one hand behind my back virtually the entire time because... Somebody have you like literally locked up. It was like dragging people behind me trying to like dribble in for a layup. It was 10 to 9. Pretty close game though. There's Kirby Bucket. It was fun. And I want a rematch. <laughs> I want a rematch. I want, nice I, want you, I want you one on one. one, -on -one. Yes. <laughs> I want you one on one. Then, then you won't be able to. I feel like I'll be able to dribble right by you. <laughs> okay. We are 0 for 4 here. Here's this next one, by the way. It's for. Who's up next? Nathan Reback has four of these. So, Nathan, good luck to you. Nathan, I think, was it Nathan? I think Nathan was the one that you brought great luck to in that archives video. We pulled a double header 1989 double header card. There's Aaron Judge, 
doubleheader was Chipper Jones and Andrew Jones. And so a couple hundred bucks. All right, Nathan, you've got four of these. So let's see what we can do here. Right now, I'm looking at maybe a solid D or F for this, uh, this retail product here. Hopefully that changes within the next 10 minutes here as we get into the second half of these boxes. All right, here we go for Nathan. We've got Jordan Walker leading this one off. Bobby Whitley pulled his autograph a couple days ago. Be nice to pull another one. Trevor Story right there. And we've got Zach Wheeler. Here's a Mike. Tra okay, here we go. We've got an InstaVision. Wow, this is a good one. Mike Trout InstaVision. There's our hit. It's not an autograph, but it's these are pretty rare. I I've opened maybe a two cases of Stadium Club, and I think I've only pulled maybe one of these so far. And it's numbered to 10. A fantastic hit right there. Nathan, she did it again. Sophia <laughs> brings the luck. InstaVision Mike Trout. I don't know what that's worth, but I would assume it's worth maybe over $100. It's not an autograph, but it is numbered to 10, and it's a rare case hit. And we'll see what else we have in the rest of this one. No autographs yet. They put on the box, look for autographs. Well, we've been looking. We're not finding anything. There's box number one for Nathan. He still has a grand total of three more to go. So Mike Trout, InstaVision hit. Let's see what else we can find for Nathan on this warm, really warm, unseasonably warm Friday evening. Got up to like 62 degrees. Here's a Jordan Walker. It was nice. I hope it stays like that, but I don't think it's going to. It's basically like the same weather that we had in Florida last weekend. Speaking of weekends, it is the weekend now, and there's a card show this weekend. Do you want to go? Where is it? It's at the Westmoreland County. I always say Westmoreland County. Westmoreland Mall in Greensburg. Okay. Maybe we could, uh, I can look at some cards. You can maybe... Do a little clothes shopping? Yeah. Doing an outfit or something? <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> All right. So I think we'll probably be at the uh, Westmoreland Mall hitting up some uh, card tables and see what we can find out there this weekend. And maybe we can find some good stuff. What? All right. Maybe I completely lied about this being a rare hit because there's another one. InstaVision, Julio Rodriguez. I got to just pause here for a second because that doesn't seem all that common to me. Let's check this out and see what it goes for. 2023 InstaVision, just a base card of Stadium Club, Julio Rodriguez, is going currently for, well, let's see here, 2022 version. It's 20 bucks best offer, so that's not worth all that much. One actually has a $50 bid on it, but it's numbered to 50 So I guess they're not quite as rare as I thought. Maybe they're a little more common in blaster boxes, or maybe we're just getting lucky right now. For Nathan, so it's probably maybe a twenty dollar card right there. That Mike Trout, I think, probably will get you over a hundred since it's numbered to ten. Here's the CP. Get one of those per box. Will Brennan, and still zero autographs. All right, so we're zero for two for Nathan. It says right on there, look for autograph cards, and then there's something really small that I can't read. Probably like good luck, super rare. I don't know. It says look for maybe look for the odds on Tom's website. They even put it in white. They put it in white text over a white background, which makes it super tough to read. I don't know what it says. I wish they'd just come out and put it on the box. Maybe just, you don't have to put all the odds on the box with every single parallel like they used to do, but maybe at least give us the autographs or the, the, the main hit odds on the box. That would be kind of nice and transparent. There's Clayton Kershaw. All right, so we got two InstaVision hits there for Nathan. This is your third box at this rate. You're, you know, looking at maybe a third hit. We'll see. Also, we'll continue our top 40 countdown with our second video of the night. Don't worry, Sophie. It's going to be a short one. Like We're talking like less than five minutes. Okay. There's four boxes, and there's just one card per box. Mm -hmm. I call them lottery ticket boxes. You'll have to see what it is. If you're going to be tuning in, there's just 20 days until Top Series 1 came out, and all the big companies put their top 2024 boxes mm -hmm. on sale today. Sophia's yawning. Get bored by the cards here? We didn't even get here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's putting Sophia to sleep. There's Vinny Pasquantino getting doused with some water there. And just 40 cards per box. No autographs yet at all. Just a whole bunch of base cards. There's the CPA. You get one of those per box. Lennon Sosa. 
rookie card, Joey Votto, who is still a free agent. He's been linked to possibly the Angels. We'll see if he continues his career. And as he tries to get into the Hall of Fame, there's been some discussion. Would it be just better for him to hang it up and just go away and uh, rest on his laurels and maybe try to get in the Hall of Fame? Is it better to, to, to just burn out and or fade away? I don't know. Isn't that a song? Here we go with this next one. This is Nathan's last box. Let's see what we can find in here. This is a Mike Trout box topper. Paul Skeen's coming in at number three on the top 100 MLB pipeline list. It's a brand new list that just came out, and I just got notified about that, so I'll be looking that list over. Paul Skeen's was the number one overall draft pick by the Pirates in the MLB draft of last year. He's one of the big chase cards in the Bowman draft, and he falls at number three. That's pretty good for the Pirates to have such a high guy on their, on their list. I think Jackson Holiday is probably number one without seeing the list. He's, uh, he's going to be just something else. All right, we've got three boxes left besides this one. Let's see what else we can find for Nathan here. Still just struggling through to find any autos. You would think that maybe there would be some autographs here and there. There's a nice Tremoritz Juan Soto card. You usually see maybe one of those per hobby box. They're pretty nice-looking cards. Another Juan Soto right there. Here comes a Chrome card of Christian Yelich Refractor. So just doing some quick math here, we've we've opened about two hundred dollars worth of cards. If they're twenty five dollars a box, here's a second time we're at two in the same box. Two hundred dollars worth of boxes, not a single autograph yet. So you'd be better off buying a hobby box and getting a guaranteed two autographs. So that's it for Nathan. You got a sepia Brett Beatty in there as well, and you got a couple nice Insta Vision cards. So thank you very much. I think overall. All things considered, you probably had the best run out of anyone so far. We've got three boxes left. We got William Buffington. And then we've got Roy with two. And then that will be it as we just kind of slowly go through these. I, I feel like I don't want to say it's dragging here, but come on, Stadium Club. Let's get something going. There's the Ichiro box topper card. He'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. Should be unanimous. He's on the ballot next year. We'll see. Ichiro, when he was being brought up, his, uh, his training was so intense that he did nothing but train to be a baseball player his entire life. In fact, he only had five or six hours to hang out with his friends per year. I was watching a video today on, I think it was what baseball doesn't exist, about baseball in Japan. And, man, they really take baseball seriously over there. It makes me almost just want to head on over there just to, for a week to just watch some games in person. And they have, like, professional cheering sections. And there's a Miguel Cabrera, which is numbered to 199. So I think that's only our second numbered card, too, folks. So from what I can remember, we pulled the Yogi Berra, which is numbered to... 199 orange, and now we pulled that one. I guess three if you include the Mike Trout Insta Vision, but it is just kind of, uh, I would, I'm, I think I've opened it up now. This is the ninth box. I'm going to say pass on Stadium Club Retail and just head on over to the hobby store and grab a hobby box or a compact breakers box. I mean, heck, you can get those compact breakers boxes for like $75. That's the cost of three blasters, and you get at least a guaranteed autograph, and there's from what I've seen, pretty good amount of numbered cards in those from what we did yesterday. So, William, thank you very much. We're down to our last two videos, or last two boxes of this video. It's for Roy Hutchinson. So, Roy, good luck to you, man. Nothing happening yet for autos. If anybody has the actual autograph odds and wants to post that, you could. That would be awesome. I guess I could maybe try to look it up for you as well because I, I really thought Fanatics has been doing such a great job with autographs recently, like one per every five boxes, that um, I thought we'd find at least a couple. So if you want to find the odds, they're on Topps' website. You can just type in Stadium Club Topps Odds, and it brings you to a page that is just filled with numbers. It looks like this, and you can go through that and find your autographs. There's so many different parallels here. It's actually two pages. It's not quite as bad. I guess there's two pages. Like the problem where it's red that we pulled earlier, which wasn't numbered. It was a Juan Soto, though. Let's see what that is. They have all these different versions, too. So Hobby Pack is one every 257. 
hobby box is one in every 17 boxes. I guess would that be the special edition value pack? 193. I think that's what this would be called. They won't call it blaster boxes. Base card autograph. Here we go. This is what you're looking for. You want the odds, don't you? Well, here they are. So first, the autographs. Got to do a little deep dive here because where's all the autographs? I, I don't know. Let's take a look here and find the odds for you. So in a hobby box, it's one in every nine packs. That's pretty darn good. You're getting two per hobby box. Now, in the special edition, it's called VBSE Pack Odds. I'm guessing that's the value blaster. It's one in 94 packs. We'll give you one. They also give you the odds per box. It's one in 12 boxes. Yikes. So we're on box number 10 right now. And those odds are looking pretty correct because we've opened 10 boxes, haven't hit a single autograph from any of these. Although we are doing pretty well with the InstaVision cards. I thought that was going to be one for a second, but it's not. Pulled two of those already. Not a single auto. So one in every 12 boxes, that is, uh, that's pretty rough. That's, that's one in every, I got to spend like what, $300 to get one autograph? At that rate, there's a Ronald Acuna Jr. box topper in there for you, Roy. You got one more box. And here we go, last one, box number 11. Is this going to have an autograph? Let's see what we have here for Roy H. Best of luck to you. Let's see if we can at least end this video with a bang. We've got Jose Altuve right there. And we'll see what else we can find. Good luck to Roy. And thanks to everybody for watching this one. If you're still here 22 minutes in, I really appreciate you being a trooper and sitting through 11 blaster retail boxes as we try to find an autograph. We have a second video for you. The second video will be much more action-packed. All the action all together. It's going to be lottery ticket style boxes. I won't tell you what it is yet, but it's number 20 on our top 40 countdown. And it's one of those one card per box videos. We've got four boxes. One of the boxes didn't sell, so I'm going to take one for myself and see if I can hit something. It'll probably be, like I said, less than a five-minute video. So here we go with this last one. Gunnar Henderson rookie card is in there. We've got Austin Riley, Trom Vritz card, and Albert Pujols sepia. There's actually a double sepia offering right there, so that's pretty nice. We'll take it, a little bonus, two parallels. Going yard, that's actually our first time finding one of those. A going yard. We see those a little more often in the in the uh, hobby box. There's Adley Rushman rookie card in there as well. I guess we'll get that one sleeved up for you, Roy. And will we find a single autograph here? It's not looking good as we're down to our last pack. Got a couple of cards. 11 boxes, not a single autograph. So again, it's about one in every 12. You're going to find one on average. You're going to have to spend about $300 to find one autograph. Why do that to yourself when you could go and spend $300 on two hobby boxes and get four autographs that are guaranteed? So there you have it. I mean, it's, it's a convenience thing. If you're out at Walmart, you're picking up some groceries and... You see the the boxes on the shelves, you'll probably, okay, I'll rip one to see just for fun. I can see that. That's why a lot of people do. But if you're if you're in it to put the set together or if you're in it to maybe get a couple hits and maybe try to get an autograph that's worth something, I'd say go hobby all day, all the time. And hobby compact is just right behind it as well. Those are pretty good. They're slightly more. You would think that hobby compact should be $75 a box, but um, they're just priced a little slightly more than half of what a hobby box is despite giving you exactly half the contents. But that's all we have for you for right now. That's Stadium Club Blaster Retail Review. I'm going to go ahead and give those a solid D, I think. D, D minus. Um, let me know what you think of those in the comments. You'll likely be seeing those on, out on the shelves in the coming week. I haven't seen any around here yet, but I got my case early of it. So I figured we'll go ahead and show it off and see if it's, uh, if it's good or not. So thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We'd love to have you along for all of our videos. And I will see you all for our second video here in just a little bit. The top 40 countdown, number 20. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.